Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade. Chapter 10, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I am going to go ahead and read the question. It says, describe the pattern and draw what might be the next three figures in the pattern. How many circles are in the sixth figure? So I did them out to six using just this last one, okay? So our pattern, you'll see we have one and then we added a row of two and then we added a row of three. So on this one, I'm gonna add a row of four. On this one, I'm going to add a row of four, which is what we had. Oh, sorry, I skipped one. I'm gonna add a row of four, which is what we just had. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a row of five. Okay. The next one, I'm gonna add that row of four. I'm gonna add the row of five. And then I'm gonna add, oh, sorry, a row of six, okay? So we have a row of, Miss Lee is obviously not an artist, y'all, okay? Four, five, six, and then we would have a row of seven, okay? So in all, okay, we would have, it says, how many circles are in the sixth figure in the pattern? Well, that would be 21, okay? So our pattern would be to add another row, plus one, and we would have 21 circles in the seventh row, okay? Okay, Larry stencils this pattern to make a border at the top of his bedroom walls. Describe the pattern and draw what might be the missing figure in the pattern, okay? So we have Two triangles facing so let's say a rhombus eight eight rhombus eight eight rhombus eight eight rhombus okay so the pattern is rhombus two triangles for the pattern okay and then we filled in and then let's put repeat okay so rhombus then two triangles right there and then we're going to repeat that okay so that's your pattern okay we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check just like always and we're going to go down to the star review it says chad has two pieces of wood one piece is seven twelfths of a foot long the seven Second piece is five twelfths of a foot longer than the first piece. Okay, so seven twelfths plus five twelfths. Okay, so how long is the second piece? Well, we keep our denominator, and seven plus five is twelve, which means we're going to have twelve over twelve is equal to one, one foot. There we go, okay? Olivia finished her race in 40.64 seconds. Patty finished the race in 40.39 seconds. Miguel finished the race in 41.44 seconds. Chad finished the race in 40.46 seconds. Who finished the race in the least time? So we need to find the smallest number, okay? Well, all of these are 40s except for one. That one ain't gonna be it. Okay, let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so now the rest of these are 40. Okay, so now we need to look at the next number. Well, we have a six, a three, and a four. Well, six is the highest number, and then between three and four, four is the higher number. So, Patty with 40.39 seconds. 
Okay. You can just write Patty. That's fine. Okay. Justin bought six ribbons for an art project. Each ribbon is a quarter of a yard long. How many yards of ribbon did Justin buy? Well, one quarter yard long, and he bought six of those. Well, six is the same as six over one. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and reduce. Okay. So uh, two goes into four, and two goes into six. So two goes into four two times, two goes into six three times. So now I'm going to go ahead and reduce. Okay. Or I'm going to go ahead and multiply. Sorry. So one times three is three, two times one is two. Top number is bigger than the bottom number. I gotta go ahead and do some math here, okay? If you need to go three divided by two and do that math, you go right ahead. I'm not going to, I'm gonna go two goes into three one time. One times two is two, so three minus two is one, and then I keep my denominator, and we're being measured in yards, okay? All right, Kyle and Andrea were asked to make a list of prime numbers. So Kyle said 1, 3, 7, 19, 23. Andrea said 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Whose list is right? Well, let's see. Well, so I'm going to say Andrea's list is right because Kyle didn't include. A two. A two is a prime number. So, Andrea is correct. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter 10. Come on back for chapter 11. See you soon.